Hi, Shanasani here. In my book, Quantum Being, chapter five is called Being Human. The name speaks for itself. We are called human being because it is all about being in a state of being because that's how we truly create our experiences and that's how we build our experiences from our present, which is why Eckhart Tolle highlights the fact that live in a present tense. So yes, now, in our existence, we don't exist just at the physical level. We exist at many different levels and many different layers. Even as we speak our words, we're not just speaking our words. We have our body language. We have so many other information that we're giving out. And if the person receiving on the other end can see, then they can see that you are walking with the world with you. In this chapter, I kind of very much highlight the fact that the more aware you are of your beingness, the more command you have in how you are going to navigate your life. Because wherever you're standing, you are creating an interaction and you're creating an interference. Because of the fractal nature of the world we live in, every single action is like a Jacob ladder, step by step by step. One step is leading you to another and so forth. And as you get into the crossroads, that's called bifurcation. And that's where you decide you go right or you go left. So you are basically making these choices, even on a day-to-day -day task, anything you do in life, you're constantly doing this. So I'll give you, for example, you're having a health challenge. So you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you the prognosis about the health. Now you're aware of that. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to understand what that is you're gonna probably solve the problem based on what doctor suggested. When you start solving the problem, then you're gonna learn that while you were solving that problem, you may have created another problem. The point of the story is that there is this constant action and reaction occurring in your life and every step is leading you to the next step. So that's why when you become very aware of what your step is and how it's taking you to the next step, then you're going to decide whether you want to go there or not. And that is the most important message in this chapter. And it explains that the fractal world works based on two principles. One is that part of a whole is whole, just like a hologram, right? So we live in a holographic world. And hologram, it actually means a whole message. So the message is contained. It's a self-contained message within each piece. We all are part of that piece of the puzzle and all of us together are completing the message for humanity. The second principle of fractality is bifurcation, which is it keeps rooting off and therefore you have to keep making choices and by not making a choice, you are making a choice. So this chapter really highlights all the nuggets you need for you to show up the best in the world and understand your existence and understand that how Every single action that is leading you to the next action is partly because of your thoughts, your beliefs, your emotions, because you are projecting your experience through your vibration. Have a wonderful day. Bye.